What's up, guys? We're here. Um, this is gonna be like a raycast tutorial. Just teach you how to use the new raycast. Um, it's gonna be pretty quick because it's pretty quick to learn. But yeah, um, just to get started, I'm gonna just make a local script. And uh, if you want, you can make like these base plates real quick. And then we're gonna need our player. So we're just gonna make a local player, this player, and our players, our local player. Then we're gonna get the character. Then we're gonna get the root part. Okay, um, now we need something to sort of press, like a button to press to, to make the raycast. So we're gonna use user input service. And then we're just gonna do if we'll begin an in input. And then we're just gonna we're just gonna use E as like the button. Alright, so now our I guess I should start explaining a raycast. A raycast is pretty much like it's like a ray. If you remember math, like we can use like the floor for instance as like a starting point. And then it goes out in whatever direction you know that you want it to like go out of, right? So in order to make a raycast, we need to make array parameters. So what you what these sort of dictate is what the ray can hit and what the ray can like ignore and stuff. So we're gonna do ray params, get a ray cast params that new. And then the filter out objects, we wanna ignore our character, right? And everything that's in it. We're gonna do ray params that filter instances, then table, then put our character inside of that. So now that, that's pretty much all you need to do. This is just making a new parameter for the rays. And then this is just telling it to ignore our character. So now to actually shoot a ray out, we're gonna do local ray to get a workspace, ray cast. And it has three parameters. It has an origin position or a start position. Start position has a direction times distance and it has the ray params right now our start position will be root part dot position right now the direction we need to do is local not even local root part dot c frame and then I want the, the raycast to go down, so I'm gonna use up vector times negative 10. That tells it to go down 10, like units or 10 studs. And then to check if a raycast has hit something, we do if ray then. If it didn't hit anything, then you would do else, right? So pretty much ray didn't hit anything. Ray hit something. That's pretty much what this what this means, right? Um now we wanna just make like let's make a part, right? So part this is the new part. And then we're just gonna anchor the part. And make sure and collide is false. Alright, so let's see 
We wanted to get the position of where the ray came in contact with an object. To do that, we would do ray.position. And that will put the part at the ray's position where it collides with the floor. And I can show that. Let me just parent the part. So parent is equal to workspace. I'm going to disable or remove this old script. Oh, I did not want to do that. That's not a script. All right. So then if I hop in the game, I press E. It spawns a part right below me because that's where the, the root part is. The root part is up here, it shoots the raycast from there, and then lands and hits the surface of the floor. And now you're probably like, how do we get like the materials and the colors, right? So the object that the ray hits is called an instance. So let's just name this variable object, right? We do ray dot instance, and that is the object that the ray touches, right? So now if we want to copy the parts color, we just do object.color. And if we want the material, part material is equal to object dot material, right? So now when we play this, it'll copy the material that the part hits. Which is really cool. And if you jump, you can see how Raycast shoots down. All right, and that's that's pretty much it. Like for the basic raycast, right? Uh, you can show like direction of where it goes, how far it goes out, how to get the the material and the color of an object that it hits. So yeah. This is just like a quick little tutorial. Um, let me know what you want to see next. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.